So in my review videos, I always talk about the power of massage guns. You have to look at the speed, the amplitude, and the stall force to make sure it's gonna fit your needs. So let's see how much of those you need. Hi guys, I'm Scott with Before You Buy, where we do product reviews to make sure it's what you want before you buy it. And if you're interested in some more honest product reviews and quick tips, consider subscribing. So if a massage gun doesn't have enough power, it'll quickly become obvious and you might as well just throw it away. Because for a massage gun to actually do its job, you have to have that power. But how much of each do you need and what do they even mean? Well, first things first, let's look at amplitude. I'm gonna cut over here so you can see. Amplitude is how far this head travels. See that? So this is the Life Pro Pulse FX and it has 16 millimeters of travel. Okay, so that means this head travels back and forth. Most range from the 10 to uh, 16 mark, uh, 10 to 12 is probably the average, probably 12. Um, and I will say that once you start getting to those lower numbers, it doesn't hit you as hard. What does that mean? So think about it, like if you're, your travel isn't very far, you're, you're just doing this, right? You're just going back and forth and it's just lightly vibrating, okay? It's not actually hitting you, okay? So now you think of some travel on your punch there hitting you and you actually get that, that hit, okay? You're trying to loosen up your muscles, these knots in your muscles, right? Um, so you do kind of need that hitting. Uh, my, my daughter, when she, I think was three or four years old was, uh, Christmas shopping for me. And she found this little, uh, vibration tool that you could put on your neck or something. And you turned it on and just had a little vibrating motor on it. It, it was so cute cause she was three years old, but it was also absolutely worthless. Um, you know, I think she just picked it out with mom or whatever, but, uh, it was absolutely worthless because all it did is sit there and, you know, vibrate. You know, put your hand on your other arm and just go back and forth. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't hit you, okay? So that's the whole point. If it doesn't have enough travel, it doesn't hit you. That's amplitude. But speaking of amplitude, there can be a catch there, which is called stall force. Okay, so stall force is what I showed at the beginning. How much force does it take to stop a massage gun? Now, I don't care, I could stop every single massage gun doing this. So that's not a good judge. Uh, a good judge is how much pressure it takes by the time you start pushing down on your muscle, does it stop before it actually does the job? The one I showed at the beginning, that's a massage gun I've done a review on, it's, it's worthless. And that's what I say in the video because I always try to provide those honest reviews. Uh, I don't care how much a company gives me the massage gun or tells me they're gonna pay me, I don't care, I'm gonna give you my honest opinion about it. And if it's garbage, I don't want you to buy some garbage. So stall force, it has to have enough stall force to do the pounding, right? So going back up to amplitude, they kind of work hand in hand. Now, the catch comes into play when you talk about this mini one, for instance. This mini only has six millimeters of travel here. See that? There's just there's just not much to it. But the stall force is actually really, really good. So I can actually put this on my muscle. And even though the stall force isn't very long, right? It's not hitting super deep. Uh, but the deeper you go, and now it's still able to punch you, um, that's where it starts to still bring some value. So the last thing to look at is the speed. Now this is probably the least important factor because almost every massage gun has at least three speeds. So this is the Pulse FX and has three different speeds. As I mentioned, it's a little bit louder. Medium and high. Okay, you're getting into some serious business when you got that much amplitude, this much power, and but you pay for it in the noise, right? Um, even this little mini massage gun has five different speeds. I've never seen a massage gun that I haven't said, I wish it was faster or I wish it was slower, okay? Because they all have enough speeds. Now, you don't need to be crazy. There's some that I even recommend, but the softer spot has 20 speeds, okay? You don't need 20 speeds. Um, it's not a bad thing that it has 20 speeds, but 
I don't need 20 different speeds because you're you just with your eyes closed, you're never going to be able to tell the difference between them, right? Low, medium, high. I can tell the difference. So I personally use about three different speeds depending on which muscle group I'm using. So again, speed is probably the least issue of an item to look at. So real quick, before we kind of talk about how they all tie together, if this video is helping you, consider subscribing, consider using the links down below to my massage guns and review videos because it helps buy me a cup of coffee. And you know, it's it's late, it's 1248. And this is when I record my videos and then I start working on them because I got a family and I own a gym and I want to just provide you guys with some honest reviews. So uh, if that helps you, Scratch my back, help buy me a cup of coffee, keep me going. Thanks. You have to weigh it all out, right? Um, and that's what I often talk about is the value of massage guns. You have to weigh it all out. You gotta know what you're buying. You gotta see if it hits your needs. Um, so for instance, this one, yeah, it doesn't quite have the 16 meter of travel, millimeters, <laughs> 16 millimeters of travel. Uh, so it's not gonna hit you as hard, but maybe it's a different, scenario right so this one is so small you can carry this one with you anywhere this one's so quiet i mean let me just give you a quick comparison even this is on low this is on low low i mean even on low and if i turn this up to high it's going to be even louder right so the fact that this one's super quiet super portable you might be able to sacrifice the smaller amplitude, as long as it has enough stall force. I'm a 39 year old American Ninja Warrior. I'm a dad of three, foster parent. I mean, a gym owner, I'm a busy guy. And this thing can come around with me in my backpack. Okay, I'm an IT guy by trade. So this thing is just always in my backpack. In fact, my backpack always sits right there. Who's noticed that? Comment down below if you've always noticed my backpack sits right there. But this is always in my backpack. Why? Because it's super portable. It's light enough. It's actually heavier than you think because it's a giant battery and motor in there. But um, it always is with me because I can get a good enough massage probably at least 90% of the time, if not more, out of this little guy. Because again, it has enough stall force and the amplitude, even though it's short, I can still dig deep into those muscles to actually help release those knots. Now, would, would I rather have 16 millimeters of amplitude? Yes. Um, in fact, if you're a power lifter, you got a lot of strong, deep muscles, maybe you're a track athlete, uh, you know, a lot of deep glutes, hips, maybe you do want to think about something that has a little bit longer amplitude or a little bit stronger stall force. But I just want you to say like to yourself, Am I a strong, incredible athlete shooting to continue to improve? Or am I like kind of a weakened warrior, maybe just trying to get healthy again, maybe an old dad like me that could literally just get by with a smaller, less performance one, okay? Because yes, we all want the, the Tesla or Corvette or whatever floats your boat for cars, but uh, do we need it? No, I pretty much just want some good gas mileage to get to work. So I know there are a lot of opinions out there and I hope this just kind of helped explain the difference between amplitude, stall force, and speed and kind of how they also work together, yet different. Um, and again, this is just my opinion. If you have a different opinion or you agree, please let me know down in the comments down below. Uh, I'm willing to talk about it. This is just my experience and I hope this helped. If so, consider using those links down below, and until next time, see ya.